Hey guys, EBP Man here. Now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the FL Sun Super Racer 3D printer. Now you all know that we've been reviewing a lot of different 3D printers on the channel. We've looked at the Artillery Genius, which is a traditional printer. We've also looked at the Ender 7, which is Core XY based. And in this case, the Ender 7 is like a speed demon. We're talking about 250 millimeters per second, fantastic quality. And this, the FL Sun, is very different. It's a Delta printer, but you know what? It prints fast and it has great quality too. Now, before we take a closer look at the FL Sun Super Racer, let's take a look at some of the specs. First of all, you're looking at a circular bag, and this is a little bit different. So 260 by 330 millimeters. So a little unique, it's not a square. Also, you have a printer that supports auto bed leveling, right? And the cool thing about this is that the bed is fixed and in the entire use, and I've been using this guy for two months now, never had to re-level it since leveling it the first time. That fixed bed, really love it. Now, the arms themselves, get this, carbon fiber parallel arms. Yeah, carbon fiber, lightweight, and they're kind of weird looking, but they work really well too. Now, they do use a Bowden style uh, feeder system with a double gear extruder. Uh, the maximum layer resolution is gonna go from 0.1 to 0.4 millimeters, and the speed is pretty fast. We're talking really fast. Printing speed anywhere from 100 to 200 millimeters per second. Now, the recommended speed is around 150 millimeters, and we've had some really good quality prints, which we're gonna show you as well. Uh, the nozzle diameter, 0.4 millimeters, and the extrusion temperature, you can expect 240 to 260. Now the bed temperature is gonna be of 100 Celsius. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the printer because we gotta see this printer in action. Now the Super Racer has a very simple to navigate menu. Uh, you can either choose print if you'd like to print, you could go into tools, you can work with the settings, you can get information about the BIOS. If we go into tools here, you'll notice that you could do preheating set to PLA or ABS as well as cooling the system. You also then have um, configuration options for the extruder. Uh, you are able to move the actual print head uh, from location. If you'd like to change the filament, we have in and out, um, obviously at the right temperature that you can preheat it. You also have your auto bed leveling, which requires a separate adapter uh, that allows you to do the bed leveling only once. And then once you're done with it, because it has a fixed bed, we've never had to re-level it again. Uh, changing your language is also available there. If we go into the settings area, you'll notice that there's not a lot going on here, right? So all you can do is basically configure or work with your motors and also your fan. So it's really straightforward when it comes to just the overall printing experience. Now, the very first thing that you're gonna notice about the FL Sun is that the print bed itself is circular and it's also fixed in place. There's no adjustment whatsoever. Uh, prints come off easily, prints go on easily. And like I mentioned, the actual leveling is a delight because all you do is level it once and you're set to go. Overall, it's relatively quiet, although every now and then you'll hear some loud noises. You can see here that we have the carbon fiber arms that are supporting the actual print head and the Bowden tube that it's loading the uh, filament to. Now the print speeds of the printer are gonna be noticed here and you'll see it jump anywhere from 35 to 150 as it's printing. And you'll notice that it went right now just from 30 to 57 millimeters. Um, that's all gonna be based on the slicer. You saw it jump to 150. So it does print relatively fast. And one other nice feature about the printer is the fact that it has this little drawer where you can put in all of the pieces or tools that you need when working with the printer. Now this printer is relatively quiet, but the fan is a little bit louder than most. And I'm just gonna stay quiet and bring in the sound meter so you can see uh, how quiet this is. Most of the noise that we're getting with the printer has to do with the filament being loaded. Now in this printer, filament does have a long way to travel. So you notice that there's our Bowden tube and it keeps on going and going and going and it's going even further and then right there that's where we have the filament being loaded and the filament goes through that small Bowden tube and it keeps on going higher and higher and higher until you actually see the spool on top all right so now let's take a closer look at the prints and as we take a look at the prints we'll bring in the traditional benchy uh, into focus uh, this is uh, using a very inexpensive filament gst t3d and the overall quality of the Benchy is pretty good. You know, this is at the fastest speed, and as you can see right there, uh, the finish is really good. Uh, given, keeping in mind that again, that we were using a very inexpensive filament, right? Now we printed this model as well, and this one did really, really well. Look how clean that is. Uh, different filament though, right? So it wasn't the same filament, and uh, no supports, right? And it did really well here with the chin. So overall, great quality. 
We also tried um, some cosplay stuff. So here's a Robin mask. Uh, did really well. Has some support still that I have to remove. Has a little stringing that took place. But I am really happy with this because, again, we are putting this at the fastest speeds. So you can see what the inside finish looks like. Really happy with the overall quality. We did try to print some larger objects. And you can see this one right here. Uh, this guy is pretty tall, uh, different filament, did really well. You notice uh, even how the top layer came out pretty clean, and even the bottom, bottom layer, no warping whatsoever. Was really, really happy with this one. Now this one right here represents one of our failures, and even though this looks pretty good, and as I rotate this, uh, the overall quality seems pretty good, right? Even all the details there, you'll see where it failed, and it failed right here. So notice the warping right here? And notice how the bottom, I'll flip it like this, this would be really easy to see right there. So you can see how it failed in that area. But this was the only failed print we had. All of those prints that you saw were run using the coarse slicer settings. We didn't make any modifications. And that's uh, one of the things that I look for when I look at a printer is am I able to use it out of the box? It was relatively simple to put together. It worked. Uh, we were using not so great filament and then we were also using some good filament like right now what we're running is some overture so i expect that this pla is going to do well you're only looking at two um you know filament types that we see supported uh pla and, and abs but it does a good job and it's different right so when you compare it to some of the other printers that we reviewed i like the fact that it's using this delta technology uh, or approach when it comes to printing and the overall prints have done really well for us so guys, that wraps up our review of the FL Sun Super Racer 3D printer. See you in the next one.